Here's how you know if someone's interested in you by their body language. Part two. Open posture, okay? If they're standing there with their arms crossed, legs crossed, looking all tense and shit, odds are they're not that into you. But if they're sitting open, relaxed, chillin', vibin', very good sign. Eye contact, eye contact, eye fucking contact, okay? If you guys are making direct eye contact and feels all intimate shit, like it literally feels like you guys can't take your eyes off each other, great sign already. But if they do a little kind of thing, incredible you are in that is an intimate gaze 10 out of 10 incredible sign mirroring okay it is like embedded in the human brain that if we like something like someone we tend to mirror them and mimic them so if you find like you adjust your jacket and then they're just theirs or, like you start fixing your hair and they start fixing theirs very good sign here's some signs that the person you are talking to may not be that great for you you think this would be obvious but take it as a little reminder you feel like you can't be yourself around them. It's almost like you're putting on this persona to like seem cooler because of them and you're like worried that if they knew the real you, they wouldn't like you. Bad sign, baby, bad sign. Some days they act like they are like so into you, talk to you all the time, give you all this attention. Then other days they basically just ghost you. Yeah, that's a little game called hot and cold. And guess what, honey? It is toxic as fuck. They bring out or emphasize on the worst sides of you. The sides of you that's like really insecure, overthinking, anxious, all this shit. If they are triggering that red flag you may not want to hear this but if they only want to see you to hook up then like come on here's some more ways for you to appear more confident and let's be real the first step of being confident is just acting like you're confident so take some notes stop fidgeting so much okay whether it's with your fingers your hands just swaying back and forth in general any type of fidgeting will give off the illusion that you are not confident okay it'll take some practice but work on not fidgeting stop touching your face so much anything that you're doing that makes it seem like you're trying to cover up or fix yourself will make you seem insecure and lack the confidence. Baby, you gotta stop apologizing for everything, okay? You might think it's being well-mannered, but it usually just makes you look unsure of yourself. Only apologize when it's appropriate. The placement of your head is so important, okay? We all have the habit of looking down, but you need to straighten your neck out, look ahead, and stop looking around so much, because that makes you look insecure too. Focus on one thing when you're walking and walk towards it. Here's how you know if someone's interested in you by their body language. Small things to, like fix themselves up, like playing with their hair or like adjusting something. It's their subconscious making them want to like look a little better for you. Something boys will do if they're into you is they will try to make themselves look bigger. Like you might see them like roll their shoulders back and like huff and puff and like, yeah, it's like because they want to look more manly. Watch their head when you're talking to them. If they tilt their head, it's a sign that they're engaged and they want to be listening to you. Can we just talk about the power of these looks? Like these eye contact moments that create the most sexual tension ever. When someone tells a joke in a group and you and one other person are the only people laughing. So you just like look at each other and you're like, <laughs> love that. When you're actively trying to avoid eye contact with someone, like usually in like a crowded room and you're not looking at them, but then for one second you decide you're gonna like look at them. And at that exact second is when they decide to look at you. So you guys are both just like locked eyes and it's like <gasps> tension this shit okay this shit is the fucking gas okay this shit is the best oh i love this shit and i know you love this shit when you're talking to someone and you just see them do like the thing oh i don't know who the fuck needs to hear this but a lot of the times when you're missing someone you're not missing them because of them because let's be real you're probably getting gaslit and treated like shit in that mix you're missing feeling validated you're missing having someone to talk to you miss hanging out with someone you miss the attention but you don't miss that person because let's be real, there's a reason why you guys fucking ended or they're not in your life anymore, okay? These are some signs that someone's just using you as a hookup. You'd think these would be obvious, but when you're in it and it's happening to you, you don't realize it. So use this as a reality check. Let's start off with the dangerous ass hot and cold game, okay? Are they giving you all their attention one day and then practically ghosting you the next? Guess what, bitch? They're keeping you in this toxic little loop of constantly craving their attention by doing that. So guess what they want you for? one thing some of you just blatantly ignore this and you're not going to be happy that i said it but if they only hang out with you when it's convenient for them and 99 percent of the time when y'all hang out y'all are hooking up do i have to say it like pay attention to the language between you guys okay your conversations do they actually know anything about you anything deeper than surface fucking level not a chance okay and when they do talk to you it's more of them just being like sexualizing you telling you how attractive you are all this shit Red flag. And if you thought of them while you were watching this, they're using you as a hookup. 
I keep seeing videos being like, oh, you know, when you like someone and you lose feelings for them and then stick around long enough for like the feelings to come back. Is anyone else just the complete opposite of that? Like you crush on people all the time. You like people, whatever. But the second you lose the feelings, doesn't matter how long, you will never like that person again. Like you can never recycle that crush again. Like I could like you for four fucking years, but the second I'm over you, like actually over you, I will never like you again. That can't just be me, right? These are some signs that someone in your life is really toxic. Whether it's a relationship or friendship, doesn't fucking matter. These are red flags. You feel like you're constantly on thin ice with them. It's like one fuck up and they're not going to talk to you for like X amount of time. That is toxic as shit. If you get anxious every time they don't answer you, whether it's texts, calls, snapchats, whatever, because it's like, oh my god, they're mad at me. This means they're fucking mad at me because they're ignoring me. That is the biggest red flag. If someone is doing this one, then please get the fuck away because they're clearly just jealous of you and toxic as fucking hell. Um, if they make little criticisms about your appearance and, like, make you feel insecure about things that you're, like, not even insecure about. Like, they'll give you a look that, like, indicates they're, like, judging you or they'll say something about the way you're eating and stuff. Bad bad it's always oh you change but never you are a really nice person who's very open and very vulnerable with everyone to the point where people took advantage of that and stepped all over you and used you as a fucking punching bag your entire life until you reach the point where you were so broken that you decided that it's time for you to be selfish because that's the only way you'll get shit done and now that you take care of yourself and make yourself a priority you changed isn't that interesting